together in the storm comes a tall handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. Welcome to the Sunday special where we're going to read some Hellboy. All right, well, we're on the Seat of Destruction Chapter 4, so let's dive in. Okay. <clears throat> they call me Hellboy, and maybe it's appropriate, but if I am from Hell, I have no memory of it. I don't know what it looks like, but offhand I'd say that's a pretty good guess. I feel the power of creature. The life force of the female you call Elizabeth Sherman now flows into me. It multiplies my own power. And uh, <coughs> and blah, 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 blah. it multiplies my own power and thus linked both flow into the Sadaim. Saduhim. Whatever the fuck. Saduhim. And out of it, him it will go into the eternal void, the abyss where these were there to. S Not doing good today. And out of him it will go into the eternal void, the abyss where to smite the ancient prison of the serpent. The binding place shall be forever broken, and the Ogju Jihad shall once more rule the world. What a pity you chose to stand against me, creature. My conjurer skill summoned you into this world a half a century ago. Surely, solely that you might be a part of this great moment that you might be the conduit into the everlasting darkness. But now I have the unmatched power of the woman. You become simply an annoyance. As a piece of my brain is, <clears throat> a piece of my brain is still working, enough to hear the wizard's words. A smaller piece does the best it can to understand them as the ice-cold tongue of the frog thing that was once uh, Sven Olofsson sucks the life out of me. In 50 years, I've never felt this numb, dead, empty. And, fill, and, filling that empty, and filling that emptiness, I hear the wizard drone on and on. Strange, mad words, yet words I find somehow familiar. Words that are mingled with my first memories on earth. Chained in the heaven are they, seven is that number, bred in the depths of the ocean, neither male nor female are they. They are as howling wind, which knoweth not mercy, knoweth not pity. Nun jihad, helpless, heedless are they to prayer and supplication. They are the serpent, they are the furious beast, the windstorm. Adah jihad, evil winds, they are the evil breath, they herald the baneful storm. They are mighty children, heralds of pestilence, throne bearers of Estragal, who is queen and lord over the great darkness between worlds, Amon Jad. They are the flood which rusheth through the land, seven gods of might, seven demons of oppression, seven on he in heaven and seven on earth, Era Jihad. Helpless I hang, powerless I pray. The one the one chance that I need, one chance, that's all I need, one chance, 
and this cold, hard finger digging into the flesh, into the unresisting flesh of my chest. I feel pain. I gain focus. The concussion grenade is left over from the Rolling Hill Cemetery job six years ago. I don't even know if it's still good. Spring. I don't know if it... I don't... Sorry. Don't know if you're still in there, Olufsen. If you are, I'm sorry. The grenade works. Of giant strengths and giant tread are they. Knowing no care, they grind the land like corn. Barry, 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 Barry John. Knowing no mercy, they rage against mankind to spill the blood and rain and devour flesh. Nergal Jihad. Let the seven now rise from the abyss. Away be cast all chains. Freedom is to them. Power is to them. Nimrod Jihad. Boom. Boom. And on the serpents, merciless in slaughter, seven dragons with glittering scales. Tempest monsters, they are rising. They are the rising winds which cast darkness over the blighted land. Boom! Um, we hear, I guess, from the panel in the background. Squee! I don't know for sure. Uh, not sure what I'm seeing here, so. Movement in all seven cocoons, Captain. Power readings growing stronger. Life force readings already off my scales. Who would be mad enough to... Enough to... Who would be bad enough to... Source? A power beam is emanating from the core world, Captain. Uh, Eb Judah Earth. Fools! Don't they know what they are doing? The seven will smash their world to cinders. And when that is done, will spread their evil all over all, all known dimensions. No one will be spared. Only one power can stop them. And that power is imprisoned with... That power that imprisoned them. The power that created them. But where is that power? <clears throat> I begin to feel again. Sensation seems to begin... In my greatest... In my great stone right hand. It pulses through my arm. My chest. My legs. My brain starts working. At something more than the most fundamental levels. For the moment, I uh, almost wish it wasn't. With the return of sensation comes the return of awareness. Crack. It doesn't feel good. Yes, yes, arise the black wind. Howl from the demon, howl the demon's scream of birth and triumph. Tremble all before the coming of the end. Of and and we see he's got a harpoon through his ass. Abe, but not alone. Some kind of trance behind him. The shadows speak. Wake up, girl. Wake up, girl. Liz! And we see the fire taking off now. And then things start to happen very fast. 
Abe is a blue blur. Side of him scream is like talons scraping the inside of my skull. This is okay. Hellboy, let's get out of here. You're, you always were a practical one, Abraham. The wizard mocked scientists who tried to understand the power locked up inside Liz Sherman. He thought he knew better than them. Thought he could reach down inside her and pull out just as much power as he needed. Pity. If he'd only asked me, I could have told him he was wrong. What a mess. You'll have to let me read your report on this one, Hellboy. Assuming we get out of here to, so you can write it. Deal. There's a lot more confidence in my voice than there is in my heart. All around us, the old stones of the Cavendish house are giving up their long war with gravity. Statuary. A statuary museum curator would give years off his life to possess, raining down into that cauldron that used to be Sadaim. I wonder if the creature is still alive enough to feel pain of the stone and the fire. I hope so. Move! 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 Hey, Steps! Go up! Go up! I don't... I don't think I'm done here yet. I'm still your master, boy! It is past time I destroyed you! With that, he breathes a bolt of... Who the fuck knows what that's supposed to be? I've had it with you. Maybe you were telling the truth. Maybe it was you who brought me to Earth. But I didn't ask to come, and I don't owe you for the favor. <coughs> think, creature, think. If you kill me now, if you, if you kill me, you will never know who you are. You will never understand the power inside you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But I can live with it. I will see you crawl before me. This is not the end. Well, it is for you, Crunch. It's a hell of a punch. He punched all his skin off. And seated in the crumbling, falling mansion. So everything falls into the, uh, the lake. Uh, but, 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 I don't know who all's talking. I don't remember too much of it, Hellboy. I was looking at what I thought was a statue of old Elu Cavendish. And then there was a harpoon sticking through a guy. And there was a really big monster. Imagine my confusion. And when everything caught fire, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Sounds to me like old man Cavendish took over your body, Abe. He was the one who did the harpooning. Yes, your Mr. Ragnarok killed the last of Elu's family, an old family with lots of pain attached to its name, uh, enough to allow him to reach from beyond the grave to extract his vengeance. Hmm. Or maybe he's just pissed because somebody else found that thing up in the Arctic before his people did. They spent a long time looking. We don't know that thing... We don't know that things would have been any different if they'd found Sadaheim. What about you, Liz? That old wizard had zonked you pretty good. Do you remember any more than Abe does? A little enough. 
Are you all right? I, I think so. In fact, I feel better than I have in a long time. Like, like something got out of my system, maybe. <clears throat> what about you, HB? Looks like you're the one who took the knocks, as usual. Yeah, I'm gonna be sore in the morning. You were alone with him at the end. Did he say anything? HB? Think, creature. Think! If you kill me now, you will never know who you are. You will never understand the power inside you. I will see you crawl before me. This is not the end. Meanwhile, in some frozen hell land with a dead Nazi, there appears to be a cave and machinery. And blip, the SS or the uh, Nazi swastika turns red. And bleep. Oh no, it's beep. Beep. And we can see our three missing Nazi friends. And of course, my final panel. I think. So, that's it for today's Let's Read Hellboy. I hope you had fun. And join us next week for some more Hellboy. Your one microscopic cog in his catastrophic plan designed and dying.